Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me kind of talk through and I'm going to show you guys my everyday spring makeup that I've been doing. As you can see, I'm in a different setup. I'm in Mexico right now and hopefully the lighting's good. I have a window open, but I don't know. First thing I'm going to do is prime my face and I've been using the Glory one heck of a blot. with the NYX Proof It Eye Primer, the Waterproof Eye Primer. set my lid with a like with a like close to skin tone kind of but like bone colored eyeshadow using this clean flat shader brush I don't know if these are still available you I haven't bought these in a long time. I don't know if I'd recommend them because I literally only have this one left. <laughs> so they must not have been that great of quality since they didn't have that one. And now for a transition color, I'm gonna go into this little palette. I've been using this these colors so much. And I'm gonna go into Makeup Geek Creme Brulee, put that in my crease. And now I'm gonna take a crease brush and go into Cocoa Bear. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with that same brush that I used to put my transition color down with. And then I'm putting out a base for my lid color. The only one I brought with me is milk, but I've been using um, yogurt for a while, as y'all probably have seen in my videos. And on the lid, I've been using the color either Cinderella or Peach Sorbet from Anastasia. And Cinderella's from Makeup Geek, but. Um, today, I'm going to go in with um, peach sorbet. this a little bit with my setting spray. I'm 
I'm going to go in my crease with a little bit of Paper Tiger from ColourPop, which is like a mustard color. I don't know, I've just been liking the look of Paper Tiger and Cocoa Bear together. I'm going to add once again with my fluffy blender here. Then I'm going to pack on a little bit more of that lid color with my finger. Put my foundation in. Today, since right now I'm tan, if y'all can hear that rooster, that rooster has been getting on my nerves since I've been here, so yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not really on like vacation per se. Well, I am, but like my mom lives here, so I'm kind of visiting her, but then I'm kind of on vacation, if that makes sense. The foundations I'm using are Covey Girl, um, Covey Girl, Cover Girl, um, Ready Set Gorgeous in the color Soft Honey, mixed with Cover Girl Clean Matte. Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin in the color medium. Cause I'm not quite this color by itself yet, but honestly I probably will be by the time I leave. And um, I'm gonna be using this foundation brush. This is from Maison, I have other ones. I brought a lot of these with me cause these are honestly one of my favorite kind of brushes. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium, and I'm going to mix a little bit of the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum in the color Pecan Pie. I have to mix these two because that one's like way too dark, and this one's not way too light, but it's light. It was kind of light when I didn't have a tan, so... Now that I do have a tan, it's definitely light. I'm going to put on the tiniest bit of pecan pie. I'm going to out with the e.l.f. Um, flawless concealer brush. I've been using this brush for a while now. Like, I, the first time I discovered this brush was, um, I was watching, I used to watch that girl Shane XL before she started hella talking about like diet stuff. And, um, and she used the Sigma one that looks similar to that, which made me get, that one. And I'm going to set that under eyes with the NYX Minimal Set It Don't Fret It. This is so messy. I don't know why I brought this with me, but it makes the under eyes look really good but it just gets everywhere. That's what I hate about it. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the And I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the color 310, which is Sun Beige or something, I think, yeah. Yes, yeah, Sun Beige. This is my, like, summer color. Of course, you already know, Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion 30M. And I'm going to be using... 
honestly been obsessed with this fan brush thing that everybody's been using like fan brushes to do their bronzer and I've been loving the fan brush bronzer thing. I feel like it just diffuses the bronzer like so nice and it takes no effort. For highlighter, I'm going to first use a cream, the Becca Shinring Skin Perfector in Opal. I got this in a Sephora Playbox and I've been really liking it. And I'm going to blend that in also with my foundation brush. Blush I'm going to be using. Color um, Ignite slash Passion by NYX. It's the baked blush. I've been loving using this orange blush since I've been here. Like it's just very springy and summery and stuff. I just love it. And it just warms up my face. And I'm just spraying my face with some setting spray and um. This is the Insta Ready Weight First. I'm going to do my lower lash line. I just realized I didn't do anything on my lower lash line yet. And all I do for that is take a little bit of creme brulee and cocoa bear mix together and put that underneath. What I did was, off camera, I put some, I did my brows with some NYX Tame and Frame and some Benefit Game Brow as a setting gel. My eyeliner and what I'm going to use for that is the Wet n Wild Pro line in the brown color. I've just been liking this color for spring and it's just a lot more soft. Hopefully I'm getting this in frame. screenshot and this is like a peachy color it's like a mid-tone peach this is the finished makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to see more videos from me and i'll see you guys later Bye.